Picking up a to-go cup of coffee, can that be hazardous? Well, it takes us to this week's case. It involves a real woman, Joanne McGavro, in Florida, 43-year-old woman. And she was getting a cup of coffee at Starbucks. It was a 20-ounce cup of coffee. And as she picked it up, and as she was about to give it to another individual, the lid popped off the cup of coffee, 20 ounces of coffee at 90 degrees, and it spilled over her midsection. As a result of that, she received first and second degree burns. Unfortunately, she received scarring that will last the rest of her life. She said, this wasn't my fault. This was the fault of Starbucks because this lid popped off when I simply picked up the cup of coffee and was passing it to somebody else. That shouldn't happen. The case went to trial. The case went to trial. And there, the attorneys on behalf of Joanne pointed out several things. They pointed out that Starbucks knew they had a big problem with these particular lids on these to-go cups of coffee. Why did they know they had a problem? Because they had received 80 complaints. That's right, 80 complaints previously of these lids popping off and burning people. In this particular instance, the attorneys on behalf of Joanne argued this turned into a major issue for this woman by virtue of the fact that she suffered these first and second degree burns over a good part of her body and she's going to basically be scarred for the rest of her life. Well, when the jury heard this, they also heard arguments that were made on behalf of Starbucks. And Starbucks argued, well, wait a second. We knew this was happening. Sure, we had prior 80 complaints, but you know what? We didn't think this rose to the level that we needed to give people any kind of warnings because it's a cup of coffee with a, ca a cap on it, with a lid on it. And everybody knows, common sense, you have to exercise some degree of caution when you're handling it. In view of that, we chose not to give people a warning about these particular lids. Well, the jury heard this and they said, well, wait a second, wait a second. You guys knew this was a problem, you knew that these lids popped off. You knew the coffee was hot, in this instance, 90 degrees, and you knew 90 degree coffee could burn people badly, yet you didn't warn anybody that they had to be careful or you didn't get some different kind of lids. Come on, guys, you did this wrong. And accordingly, the jury voted in favor of Joanne and stated that Starbucks needed to reimburse her for the kind of hassles that she had and that the amount they needed to reimburse her was $100,000. Okay, we bring you this case, as you're bringing cases every week, so you understand how the law works. I'm David Allen.